Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the official resurrection remix 7.0 based on Android 9.0 Pi for our Redmi 5 Plus or the Redmi Note 5. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, finally, resurrection remix Pi, which is the 7.0.0 official version, is now available for Redmi Note 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus, which is codenamed as Winch. And you can see it's Android 9.0 Pi. The resurrection remix version rrp 7.0.0 and it's 30 january build so it's like one day before only so 30 january build with latest january 5 security patch and as you can see the latest uh, upstreamed kernel 3.18.133 it's a tag and you can see the build number rr events and build it january 30. so guys let's start with the launcher and you can see we get this lineage os launcher which is a triple sheet launcher so into home settings you can see we have the all of edit option and into home screen settings we have show google app home screen version grid size icon to home screen icon labels so i to show notifications which is a really good feature and also in the drawer settings we get icon labels and drawer so yeah here in desktop now in drawer then into icon settings we get change icon shape and notification dots too as this rom is based on lineages we also get this lineages audio effect so you can see and it works really well perfect so there are no issues with that so yeah it works great now let's move to the main thing which is the resurrection remix tools and you can see into the settings resurrection tools you have this uh, really really awesome customization and it's similar to oreo but maybe some stuff will be missing which will be added later so yeah till now these are the settings added in the resurrection remix you can see status bar then quick settings recent clock screen animations miscellaneous interface navigation buttons everything has its customizations so you can see let's take a quick look at all of these customizations so first is the clock customization you can see you can like edit everything in the clock like it's resection remix and battery style network indicator like net activity and status bar then you can see status bar weather and font also you can see then brand logo you can see this is the brand logo the resurrection remix logo in the left then we have this notification ticker system icons carry label status bar gestures then the status bar items where you can also enable the headset and all then to quick settings we have animation style layout quick pull down from left right you can choose and we have the advanced like vibrate on touch stuff then in the recent we get slim recent and also you can hide apps which you don't want to clear and lock screen you can see you get all of the lock screen stuff fingerprint unlock charging info power main lock screen face out unlock bottom shortcuts media cover art clock font size like clock font font size and font style date font size and date font style and lock screen weather and to animations so you get screen of animation list free animation list free interpolator but maybe you need to change this to change that and scrolling cage so default the disabled one is really good then toast you if you want toast icons like the toast animation here so you can like enable that then rr configuration tab is a transition effect so you can change the transition effect from rr configuration tab so this is how it looks but i love the default normal then into here we can see we get the system animations so you can customize the system animations too then into miscellaneous we have cpu info weather wake loop blocker alarm blocker Interface you get all interface settings like heads up, dashboard, system tuner, display size, custom LCD display, is a DPI stuff, volume panel, smart pixel, font, pie, this is a pie control, the gush anywhere, screenshot options, miscellaneous audio panel. So this is available in like two options. So yeah, it's okay sometimes. And do navigation. And yes, we don't get uh, edge screen edge gestures. Sorry, it's not edge screen is edge gestures. So it will be added in the next build. So like you can like just update it afterwards. Then here into edit navigation bar, you have the navigation bar layout and stuff. Here into navigation bar, you can choose smart bar and uh, smart bar and fling. Into gestures, you can see we get navigation gestures and edge gestures will be added later, as I said. Into buttons we get wake device, answer call, control pick, uh, everything related to this uh, hardware button. Then you can see power dialog. And you can also enable the advanced restart in like, yeah, it's already enabled. So, and thereafter we get this about info where we have change lock feature, shared uh, lock at all JDF. Okay. okay, website, then GID hub, then Facebook, Twitter, Telegram. Google donate to development and your pitch black theme which is the official resurrection remix theme then here we have a list of device and maintainers and uh, 
okay into xiaomi okay you can see my name is also here so yeah redmi 5 plus redmi note 5 so my name is also krithraj kadam okay nice then you can see all of the main developers uh, head developers and all of the designers all of the team is present and also guys uh, this rom has updated its own updated page on lineage os so when you get an update you just need to press here you need the twrp recovery installed or any other recovery which is like compatible and then it will automatically flash update so this is a really awesome feature and it has updater on pi like it was not on oreo so this is really awesome and guys it has all lineage os features so let's take a look at live display you can see reading mode works live display works like the first uh first build it had some issues like this because of the old blobs and the updated display hull from the lineage os but now everything is fixed also we have the g cam which is a google camera is the pre built uh, camera and also miui camera will be added by me in the next build so you can you guys can wait for the next build i just pushed like it will be with february security patch and yes uh that will be having the MIUI camera with portrait mode so that will be really awesome and yep uh, nothing else it's just alloys best with all of this stuff so guys now we'll take a look at the pubg performance like i always do with other roms so as you can see uh, we'll just test it for like one minute or two as i do with every other device okay so let's move here like outside defense oh sorry. okay I want it to be safe, but it's okay. So this is a AR match, rifle match. It's okay. I'm really having difficulties playing like this. Okay, okay. I have spotted him. Oh, sure, I'm playing like a noob. So guys, it's really difficult playing like this. Oh my god, that boy. Oh, I knocked him out. Okay, so performance really well. Touch responsiveness. It's really awesome. You can see. Oh shit, where I am like shooting. Oh my god, he died outside the place though. So touch responsiveness is nice. Like it's not at all bad. It's really running smooth. You can see. Uh, let's play for. Okay, one more kill. So yeah, the PUBG performs really well. Maybe trying to quit, and yeah, but it performs really well. And also, you can see it is not lagging even if I move inside a game. So this thing is really awesome and acceptable. Like with this type of ROM with heavy framework customization, and yeah, I'm really appreciating this. So yeah, now I'm not finding enemies, so I will just play later. Cause I have to also make anti-do benchmark. So yeah, let's move towards the anti-do benchmark now, and like I will just directly start with it. So not wasting any time. So you can see. Uh, let's uh, start. Okay. So I don't know why. Okay. So okay, it's opening. I thought anti-do benchmark is like lagging. So let this like really set a process, but it. Takes a lot of time, like two to five minutes. So let this process end, and I will just give you a brief info about the like stats. So guys, like I was taking Android benchmark, and this like it stuck at seventy percent, seventeen percent for a long time, and you can see my battery is also drained for uh. So this is actually like twenty five to thirty minutes. I'm just like doing this. And it's not moving, so I don't know why. What is the issue with this? Every time I do it, just gets stuck at seventeen percent. So yeah, I cannot like exactly tell what the actual problem is. But yeah, and to benchmark this one is not getting run. Like I actually did multiple on other ROMs and it worked, but I don't know why it's not working on our R. So yeah, maybe if like possible. If I am lucky to get the Android benchmark afterwards, I will just share a screenshot after this. And if the screenshot not there, and like that's likely I have not successfully completed it. So maybe you guys can try it on your own and check if Android benchmark is getting done on your device or not. So yeah, that's it. And sorry for this, guys. I have to like 
just show you everything now guys the best thing about this rom it's, it's battery like customization is all great but the battery is really awesome as you can see six days and like i'm mostly using youtube and chrome for a lot of time like i've been surfing the web for a lot of time in watching youtube videos and also you can see pubg mobile is just for 35 to 40 minutes and google play like for downloading some apps and you can see i have got a screen on time of eight hours and six days so this is really insane actually i'm mean, just using these four apps and other apps but that's not visible it's not full day full apps usage and you can see youtube for like almost three years and chrome is like i almost used it for four hours for it so you can see uh, the screen on time 7 hours and 14 minutes in 6 days so you can see 6 whole days like 6 fucking days and it's really awesome the battery life so yeah I really appreciate the battery life so yeah that's it and I end this video now here so guys that's it for the Resurrection Remix uh, 7.0.0 official review and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Also, you guys can subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon if you want to get notified about new videos on the Redmi 5 Plus and other devices on my channel. And also like this video if you have like liked this video. Uh, like, oh, I know what you mean. I think you get this. So yeah, the IP were yes to you. Okay. Like, okay. So if you guys have liked this video, then like it. And if not, then dislike it. All of the feedback will be in the comment section. I want positive as well as negative reviews. So please give that what are my plus points. Almost sure so are my negative points. I know like my speaking is really hard to understand. But yeah, I get a little nervous while speaking. But still like you though I'm not facing the camera and still nervously speaking like this. So yeah, what have what will happen? when i will face the camera and talk so yeah that is also going to happen soon on this channel so yeah for that subscribe and bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye